this video, I'm gonna share my strategies to book appointments, close clients, and scale your business leveraging LinkedIn Sales Navigator. If you're new here, my name is Martin Mathavian, and I'm the founder of ConsultingElites.com, where we specialize in helping online business owners, coaches, consultants, and agency owners install crazy growth engines and scale to 100K per month in profit in six months or less. Now, without further ado, let's dive into my screen and I'm gonna show you how to use Sales Navigator. So first and foremost, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is basically just a tool for you to laser target your ideal client. It does not let you reach out to more people. It doesn't do any of that stuff. It only allows you to really target the right person, really handpick them and go after the right client. Now, the most important thing though, is you need to have a message that really resonates. You can go after the right people, but if you're telling them the wrong things, if your offer sucks and you're not doing the right things, you know, in the beginning, definitely won't work for you. So A, you need to have a good message, then you need to have a good offer and you need to have the right targeting. So it's a mixture of all three things. Now you must be asking, how do you actually use LinkedIn sales navigator to generate leads? So first and foremost, you want to sign up for LinkedIn sales navigator here. So you can just click the link here and there are a few options. So there's there's core and then there's advanced core is more than fine and uh, that's the one that you want to go with so you can pay annual or monthly when you do annual you do say 20 percent uh, over the year now once you're in sales navigator what you want to do is you want to click all filters and then so this is the window that you should see you want to click lead filters and this is what's going to pop up once you're here you basically want to look at a few different sections of basically categories to target your ideal clients so first and foremost is the company head right so the company section here so you can go after self-employed people you can go after companies that have 1 to 10 employees 11 to 50 employees 50 to 200 employees so this way you are going after smaller companies or larger ones uh, I would recommend going after smaller companies because it's a lot easier to get to the decision maker and uh, actually get them to move forward the next thing is uh, current company so this filter specifically you can target people who work at apps right so this is gonna pull up anybody who works at app now the next section is you can target people who used to work for app right the key difference is that they no longer work there they used to work there right so these are all the people who used to work with apple next section is the company type so you can go after publicly traded companies privately held so again privately held companies and uh, nonprofits, partnerships educational institutions self-owned self-employed so depending on your target market you need you want to go after a specific group of people that actually fit your ideal client avatar and you want to really understand are they working with a public company is it private is a partnership or could it be all the above so you really want to understand and use these filters where a lot of people go wrong with sales navigators they just don't know how to use it and they just make a crappy search and at the end of the day they're not targeting the right people right and uh, the next thing you really want to look at is the personal section so uh, where it says connection here you can see first degree second degree third degree connections so I'll explain to you what all these mean so first degree connections are people whom you're already connected with right so they're already in your network now the way LinkedIn works is that you can actually reach out to people who are not in your network so we can reach out to second and third degree members now the way LinkedIn works is once you connect with someone their connections now become your second degree connection so second degree connections are people who you're not connected with but you have mutual connections with them so you're basically tapping into other people's networks and third degree connections are basically people who you have no affinity to and they're completely cold I don't recommend reaching out to third degree connections because again they're very cold and it's going to be very tough to get them to convert so what I would do is go after second degree connections. Next thing is geography. So with Sales Navigator, you can target people who are in specific areas, right? So let's say you want people in Los Angeles. You can do that, right? Now, let's say you want to target people based on zip code or postal code. You can actually just jot that in and you can go within one mile, five miles, all the way to a hundred mile radius. Um, yeah, so you could basically use that. Or let's say you want people who are in California, but you want to exclude people who live in San Diego. Right? So you could just press on this exclude button and that's that's going to help you really get in front of those people who are the good fits and are in the right areas. The next thing is industry. So you can go after people who are in the financial service industry, insurance, banking, real estate. You can really go after the industry. The problem with this filter is I don't like to use it too, too much because um, what happens is if someone starts in insurance and now they're in real estate, you will no longer um, find them if you target um, real estate because their original industry is in insurance right so that's a filter that you can use but it's not the most effective and then the next section is you can see years of experience on the right hand side so this is their total years of experience right 
there are two other uh, areas where we can target their years of experience, which I'll get into in a couple seconds here. And um, basically the next one uh, that we can go after is groups. So if you know specific people that, let's say you're targeting real estate agents in San Diego, there, there's probably groups out there that is called real estate agents in San Diego or San Diego realtors. You can join those groups and you can target folks from those specific groups. And that way you can tailor your messaging you know, accordingly. And the next thing is, let's say if you're targeting specific um, demographics and you want to go after Spanish speaking community, you can do that. And you can go after people who have Spanish listed as a language on their profile. And you can even go after people who used to go to say UCLA, right? So you can that way you can go after people who used to go to UCLA. And this way your messaging could be more tailored. So if you went to UCLA and they went to UCLA, you can sort of talk about that within your message and there's more commonality there. Now, this is the personal section on the right hand side. On the left hand side, you can see the roles, right? So there's function. So within the business, are they in business development, education, operation, so on and so forth. The one that I really care about and I use a lot is the job title. So here you can type in real estate agent and say real estate broker, right? So this is going to bring specific people who are realtors, real estate agents, so on and so on. And then the next level is, uh, sorry, the next filter is seniority level. So you can go after owners, partners, C-level executives, so on and so forth. And basically you can go after people who've been in say Apple for six to 10 years. Now this filter is, let's say if you target someone who's at Apple for six to 10 years, but for the first three, they were an engineer. The next say three years, they were a manager or a director, right? That's going to bring up that lead versus if you go after people who are say they work at Apple and they're a director right now at that point you want them to have been a director for six to ten plus years you will go after this specific filter so this is specifically within that title previous one is within the company and people move up from time to time within the company one of my favorite uh, filters is really within the spotlight section here I like to target people who've posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days this is showing that these are active leads these are active people who are on LinkedIn and you're not basically reaching out to deaf ears, right? So this is really going to help you save a lot of time and get a lot more engagement from this crowd. So basically that's that process itself. So again, these are the most important filters that I think are the most important. So number one is job titles. Number two is relationships. So relationship is again, first, second and third degree um, connections, geography, where they're located, specific keywords, which I'll get into in a couple seconds here, years of experience. So that could be total experience or that could be within the company or within the title itself. And and uh, company headcount, so how big is the organization itself? And spotlights, again, posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days and a couple other ones out there, right? And uh, basically what you could also do is you can use keywords to find prospects that match your target audience as well. So you can use the keyword section right here. And basically you can type in real estate agents or realtor or real estate broker to find prospects with those specific titles, right? Now the next section is the Boolean search. Basically within this, we're using specific keywords and operators to search for specific information. So this works not only on LinkedIn, it works on Google, a wide variety of different websites as well. LinkedIn is also one of those as well, right? So basically you can go into the keyword section here and then what you could do is there are a few different operators. So there's and or not, right? So let's say if you're looking for people who have the keyword sales and marketing. So it can't just be sales. It has to be both sales and marketing. You would use the and operator. Now, if you want people who are either in sales or marketing, this would be the appropriate operator to use, right? So you don't care as long as they're in sales or marketing, this is the one you use. And my personal favorite is not. So this is how you exclude people, right? So you could use this to exclude people who are not a good fit. You basically would use the not, right? So it would be sales, but not marketing. Okay. And you can actually use parentheses as well. So the way it would work is you could actually go like this, open brackets. You can target say real estate agent or realtor or say real estate broker, close brackets. Then I would do not capital N O T open brackets here. We would say, let's say we don't want anyone who's in commercial real estate. And we don't want anyone who's in, who's a loan officer or say mortgage broker. You click enter. Once you do that, this pulled up a list of a million leads. And then here you can go even further and further. So you can stack the job titles with that as well. So you can go after real estate agent. You can go after real estate broker. 
and then maybe you want realtors who've been in business for at least six to 10 and maybe more than 10 years to show that they have some skin in the game. And once you do that is you're left with 360,000 leads. Now that is way, way too many. So what you wanna do at this point on is you want to go after realtors who are in specific areas. So maybe you want people who are in say California with the exception of San Diego once again. And maybe you want people in Austin, Texas as well, hypothetically. So once you have that set in, that's 59,000 leads. Again, that is way, way too many. Now keep in mind for you specifically, you're going to use the first, second and third degree, um, basically connections. Now for you, what you wanna do is you wanna use second degree. Second degree are people who you have other people in common with them. And uh, see, once I do second degree, now the search results is about a thousand. And then what I like doing, again, I like using the spotlights and going after people who've posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days. This is gonna yield a higher acceptance rate, higher engagement, and an overall a lot more engaged prospects. So now, as you can see, we turned a lead list of a million leads down to about 260 leads, right? So just to recap, here we're going after real estate agents, so right, they have to have that in their uh, profile, realtor or real estate broker. And this does not include, so we're excluding anyone who is in commercial real estate and who's a mortgage broker. And we're going after second degree connections. Again, people who we're not connected to, but as you can see here with Tom, we have seven mutual connections. Edna, we have one. Charles, we have two. So these are people who we have other people in common. And keep in mind, once you connect with Tom, he probably has another 500 real estate agents who he's connected with. This number will jump up to 758, right? So it's his new connections are your new connection, which is Tom, all you're basically tapping into his entire network and you have access to them so that you can reach out to them, prospect them and basically book meetings with them. As you grow, as you start reaching out to more prospects and more and more prospects, this number will keep growing and growing. And again, we're going after people who are in California with the exclusion of uh, San Diego and uh, people who are in Austin, Texas as well. Job titles, real estate agent, real estate broker. Re uh, years in current position is six to 10 years and 10 plus. So as you can see, Edna, 17 plus years, Charles, six plus years. And on top of that, we're going after people who've posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days. So this is a very good search. And what I like doing is typically, I like to go through it, right? Let's take a look at all the leads that showed up. So make sure that they do actually fit your ideal client after, right? So Tom, Realtor, Edna, Realtor. I like to go down to the bottom and you can really see the effectiveness of a search by going to like page five. Just randomly pick a page. Mark, again, Realtor, Soraya, Realtor. So yeah, this looks like a good search, right? So it looks like the filters are working and your first page looks good and you go to page number two, three, four, and five and all of a sudden it's just out of whack and complete. People that are just not a good fit, you did something wrong, okay? So you wanna basically go back to the basics. Who are you targeting? What are their titles? Where are they located? Make sure you have your second degree turned on and uh, basically what areas, titles, so on and so forth, right? So you can use the sheet here and I put together a bunch of different ones for you but these are the main ones that you should care about again what I like using a lot is activities which is posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days you're not able to use this every time but if you are make sure you do uh, take advantage of it and so yeah that's basically the boolean search now the next section is the group search now let's jump into the group section. So you can basically reach out to people on groups and uh, basically what you could do, you could identify people who are in specific groups on LinkedIn as well. So what you could do is I'm gonna go ahead and clear the search or actually I'm just gonna keep this. I will exclude second degrees. And here you can go after people who are in a specific group, right? So it could be realtors on the internet. Let's see how many people are in that group. 41, right? There's real estate, real estate agent group, which has 893 members. So if you want, you could actually target these people. The point is by doing so, this is going to allow you to really customize your message that says, for example, let's say, Sylvia, I see that you're in the real estate agent group on LinkedIn, and you can just basically start your message with that. This is gonna help you personalize your outreach more and more. And people like to basically receive personalized messages rather than copy pasted messages that they receive every single day, right? So you can use the group section here to utilize that. And basically, if you want, you can also even join groups on LinkedIn. So by joining groups, you can actually message them directly without them even connecting with you, right? So if you want, you can go to LinkedIn, find a bunch of different groups that your niche hangs out in. So if your niche is real estate agents, there's a bunch of them. 
If your niche is insurance agents, I'm sure there's a bunch of them out there as well. If it's uh, UI UX, website design, there's a bunch of groups out there. You can basically go after people specifically in those groups and you can put in your parameters. So such as going after real estate agents, real estate agent, broker, how many years of experience, so on and so forth, and make sure they're in that one specific group. And this is really gonna help you have a more customized message more personalized message. But yeah, that is basically how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator from A to Z. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you do have any questions, make sure to jot them down below in the comment section and be sure to join my free community down below where you can interact with me one-on-one -on -one, and I look forward to seeing you there.